Hello everybody! Welcome to my Let's Play series on Mercer County. For those of you who don't know, my name is MRG Mapping. I am a uh, mapper slash modder for Farming Simulator. Um, and uh, I'm actually the author of this map, along with uh, two other maps, Farmersburg and El Cater. Um, and I decided that I wanted to do a little Let's Play on uh, Mercer County. Um, give myself a you know, an, an hour or two of rest every night to uh, actually play some Farming Simulator instead of, you know, just modding all day and creating maps for you guys. Um, and I kind of wanted to play a little realistically, so I decided to set up a small dairy farm on the southern end of Mercer County with a bunch of different equipment and uh, play a little bit of a, a little bit of role play, semi role play, I suppose you could say. I'm not going to get too deep into the role, but I'm definitely going definitely to play realistically. Um, in this series, I don't know how long it's going to go because I got other maps I'm going to be releasing uh, in the next couple of months, and we'll we'll obviously be switching over to those to play let's plays on those maps. Um, but I think we can do it. You know, get another season in on this map. But it is currently mid autumn on Mercer County. It is a beautiful morning. Uh, I decided that uh, this first episode I uh, would just give you guys a tour of the farm um, of our of the equipment we got running on this farm. I think I chose pr the equipment pretty wisely um, and uh, you know uh, it, go w walk through the do an equipment tour and then uh, we'll, we'll move on to uh, to doing chores on the farm. Um, I think I need to reduce my Let's see, I need to, I believe I need to reduce the amount of money I have myself. I sold off a bunch of stuff, and then bought a whole bunch of stuff, and I was left with a lot of surplus money. And so, I don't want all that money. Oh, removed. There we go. Zero removed. No, I don't want anything added. Here, let's, let's do this. Um, oh, there we go. That worked. Nope. I need a little bit more, and then we're going to have to reset the time because my speed up tool keeps progressing through the day. I don't want that to happen. I want it back when it was beautiful. A beautiful morning. Look at that. The birds are chirping. There we go. That's a that's that's a, that's about right. Okay, so we're starting off with 157,000. Um, that uh, is going to be used. To be, let's see. Do we have a? Should I decide to uh, have a have a bank balance? Oh yeah, yeah, we do have a bank balance. Okay, okay. So let's repay some of those first. That's that's for starters. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit so we don't have to pay as much on the interest payments. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. We're gonna do chores and then we're gonna set up for harvest. Okay, that's what I got listed here, uh, and that should last us about 30 minutes worth of an episode. But let's let's get let's get started with a tour around the farm. Uh, some of you know who follow me on Facebook. Um, this is my favorite farm on Mercer County. Um, it is the farm just to the south of the starting farm. Uh, I'll show you the PDA here in a little bit. This is what the map looks like. We own field 21 and 18, and 19 up here by the starting farm. Um, and on this farm we have about 40 head of cattle, 40 Holsteins that we're milking. Kind of a small dairy operation, I don't know if you'd call that a small dairy operation. Um, in certain areas of the Midwest, uh, I think uh, it's pretty small for this area of Ohio where there's gigantic uh, dairy farms spread throughout this map um, but yeah we raise raise dairy cattle and I uh, got a number of different equipment sitting around the farm here and uh, and we do some crops and hopefully we're gonna expand the farm a little bit maybe we'll expand to another dairy farm down there across the map but uh, we'll start off with the uh, with the main machine shed here down here now I'm trying not to use trying not to run too fast I'm trying to just walk and not teleport to vehicles what have you just to play as realistically as I can okay so what do we got here 
We got the 1586. This is a uh, 160 horsepower uh, International Harvester. Um, this is kind of the uh, the do everything tractor on the farm at the moment. Got this recent purchased, recently purchased 9310. Uh, this is going to be our primary tillage tractor uh, as we expand our farm, and uh, it's rated at 205 horsepower. Uh, we got a 1680 combine axial flow. Uh, you can see here we got a. New Holland baler 378. Got this new case skid loader. We have uh, some pretty small planting equipment. This might be in the uh, uh, the area where we want to improve for next season. Uh, we'll see see how the next planting season goes though. Um, so we got uh, two planters. Got a seed drill and a planter, I should say. And uh, let's uh, well let's sit down here. A smaller dairy barn. You can see there's tanks for both of these barns. Down here, we milk at both of these. We got the cattle walking around in here. Now, lighting's not the greatest, but. But, uh, so we got our water trailer. We could store a couple uh, a couple different equipment back here. Uh, we, got a, we got a hitch for the skid loader that will allow us to kind of get things in here nice and tight into this uh, into this barn so I might might put some more things back here we'll have to see uh, we got a 11 shank uh, minimum tillage equipment uh, back here I think that's a what is that white that cr that manufactured that one um, then we got this uh, cult field cultivator um, it's, a, it's a it's a Russian mod I believe I don't know if that's Russian or not but uh, this is what the uh, uh, our larger field equipment, our 9310, will be pulling in the field. Um, this is just for, uh, you know, if we want to, we did do some minimum tillage, we can also maybe, maybe we'll uh, buy another plow to uh, turn over that field over there, that grass field. We'll see about that. Um, so, like I said, it is early autumn. Um, we need to do, do need to do chores first uh, this morning, and then uh, we'll likely get to. Uh, get to harvesting on the same day. Let me make sure that my time scale is correct. We want it at 15, so that we're a little bit pressed for time. Uh, okay, so come down here to this barn, nice little storage area, I'll hop the fence here. Um, we got a, uh, not the easiest to see here. Let's see, what, uh, what do I got on this? Uh, 766, I think. Got the uh, 7666 or 766 International uh, Turbo. Uh, I've got a Chevy Green truck here. We got a uh, Heston baler, of an older baler that might be uh, that might need to get replaced someday too. I uh, got a brand new straw blower. Uh, we like to keep our keep our cows bedded pretty well on this farm, so got a nice. Picked up a nice straw blower for a nice price over at the dealership. Um, let's see. Oh, up in here. Open up these gates here. Uh, so uh, you know, you, you saw our small square baler in the in the main shed, in the machine shed. Uh, we have we only have one of these carts, so we kind of keep this on hand for. Uh, we fill this up and use it for, use it for bedding. Uh, only need like you know maybe four or five. Bales. Uh, we're running a little low, so we might need to buy some more. But um, we really only need really like uh, you know four or five bales of straw to bed these cattle. Uh, I've got some uh, I got some bales stacked in here. That's a little stacked a little awkwardly there. Um, but uh, we'll definitely be needing more. We might I don't know if even this is this is gonna last us uh, the winter. But uh, you know we'll see. Uh, we might we might need to purchase. Uh, that's why we left ourselves a little bit of money. Um, we're purchasing bales. Okay, so we got the Vermeer rake. All right, yeah. Uh, close that up real quick. Got a New Holland disc vine, I believe, back here, and uh, and our our uh, wind rower. So it's getting to be, you know, chore time. 
make sure, uh, yeah, 8 o'clock, yeah, it's about time. Alright, so we're gonna fire up the, uh, fire up the International here. This is our feed tractor. I didn't, th I don't think I got to this one. This is a 966, 95 horsepower, I believe. So this is, uh, we ha we keep this hooked up to the, uh, keep this hooked up to the, f the feed wagon constantly. She runs kind of quiet. Eh. So let's get to feeding quick. Feeding and bedding, getting them some water and whatnot, that's pretty easy tasks. Um, we'll uh, we'll pull around here. So one thing is I don't play with the steering wheel. So you might not like my driving right away. But uh, that's definitely uh, on the list of purchases. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cows are, the cows are whining. Oop, sped up a little bit there. I don't want to do that. So, picked up this nice case skid loader off the mod hub today, and finally got a chance to use it. It's a nice little, uh, nice little loader. Oh, let's see, we got to go on the other side to pick up the fork here. Let's jump in the cab so we can see better. So yeah, playing with playing with more realistic mods. Um, I don't think I've played this way in a long time. Normally I'm uh, I'm testing my maps out and I'm just uh, I'm using you know vanilla stuff. That's uh, the best way to test out your map. All right, let's see if I can grab this. Okay, that one on top is causing problems. There we go. Okay, so I know the mix ratio. I'll turn around here. I might have parked a little close, not sure. There we go. So uh, you'll have to bear with me. I don't play as often as I mod, believe it or not. And, uh, oh boy, how are we going to get the... Uh, I forgot to put a, you know, I forgot to put a couple hay bales up front that I could actually get to. I parked the rake in the way, so let's uh, let's get that out of the way. Luckily we have uh, equipment to do that. We don't have to go grab another tractor and fire that up. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you're getting too dizzy from my driving. I know sometimes it makes people dizzy on my live streams. Oh, nope. We have to actually manually attach that. There we go. Or is it going to manually attach? Maybe it won't attach that one. Let's see. Oh, I think I... S uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to attach. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe we do have to go fire up a tractor and get it out of there. Well, that's no fun. That's inconvenient. That's that's poor planning right there on my part. Let's uh, put this back on the veil spear. Cows are not enjoying my uh, ineptitude here. Okay. Let's hop out of that. Hide that, walk on down here. Got this thing hooked up. That's annoying. I'm going to uh, detach that. There we go. So we got that uh, lizard grain cart. That's the only one that I could find that was, that, you know, worked properly and was, uh, you know, was the right size. Sure, we're backing up into here. Not hitting those bales. All right, now we can attach it. All right, pull that on. Oh, you know what? I think this specific tractor doesn't turn very well with this. Oh, oh no. This specific tractor doesn't turn very well with this. You know, that's what happens when you're using. 
mods that you can't trust. I don't think uh, this tractor, the uh, quick hitch, uh, rotates. Like that was the problem right there. That's okay, we'll figure that out later. It's not meant for this tractor anyway, so I think we uh, use the narrow end, the narrow front end tractor on that. And that works perfectly fine, so I am not too worried. As long as we don't have to do this again. All right, get that thing attached. All right, you're done for the day. Well, not, maybe not for the day, but I'm sprinting. Gotta remember not to sprint. Gotta remember not to sprint. All right, can we get these or do I actually have to physically move them? I've not tested the height on this. Oh yeah, I think we can get to them. Oh yeah, easy PV. Look at that. Okay, let's pull two out because we're going to need another one. Oh, um, hopefully not. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll uh, only need a few here. I want to hit the milking machine back here. I'm kind of regretting putting these back here. Okay, put those down right there. Perfect. So we're having that side panel would be real nice. Maybe I, maybe I need to go out and purchase one of those. Okay. Get this loaded up. See, so we put a silage bag in there, or silage bale, I should say. Well, that should be good. Okay. Let's go check the mix. The mix is good. Okay. Got this. Uh, this wagon can can mix a number of different things in this wagon. Okay. Let's. Uh, not too enthusiastic about how quiet this tractor is. I wonder if I could turn that volume up. Oh, a little bit of sharp turn there. Alright, make sure we're in the zone here. There you have it. Half a load for these guys. Only about, oh, 10, 15 cattle in there. around here feet on this side so it seems like based off of that mix we should be fine oh, I forgot to show off our grain bins and our wagons here just got a nice little trailer over there for our cattle okay yeah, 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 stop complaining. I'm feeding you guys, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Easily have enough going into next hay season. Easily. Okay. Now, usually I park this back in here. Oop. No, 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 no. Not there. Other way around. See if I can do it. Usually I pull it right through. That's I should have done the first. I should have just driven through. Probably would have been a lot easier than what I'm trying to attempt here. Oh, oh almost. There we go. I think I got it on that one. Perfect. All right. Next job. Let's see. Uh, who's, where's the? Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta bed the cattle here. Not sure how much left they have. I know I put some in yesterday. Let's see, can I see very well here? 
want to clip the side here. That back there. Let's see, are we gonna need, I don't think we're gonna need the skid loader. I like get that shut off. I uh, thought I would need another bale, but it's good that we have this at the front. So that uh, when we feed again later today and feed again tomorrow, we'll have a have a bale available, ready readily available. Just gotta remember move that rake next time, or just not park the rake in here at all. Don't park the skid loader in here. Okay. See, do I want to back up into the barn here? Let's get out and open up the door here. All right, turn that tire around, wheel it around. Let's unfold. Uh, is that the unfold button? Oh, I don't have it selected, there you go. Do we have a uh, hydraulic line? Oh, we don't have the hydraulics. Forgot about that one, didn't we? I would do it. Okay. How uh, well lined up are we? Oh, that's pretty good. That's close enough. Right, let's hop in the wagon here. Let's move some bales out. Make sure we don't grab the wagon. I know if you grab the wagon, that'll cause you a whole host of problems. I actually like loading this uh, straw blower like this. It's a uh, it's a lot easier than uh, loading it with the uh, skid loader. I don't know what it is. It's just it's just narrow, hard to get the bale on that little thing. And but these I can just pack them in there. And uh, you know you can you can spread these out by hand if you really want to. Uh, you know, in real life. <coughs> oh, stay in there. Come here, you. Stay in there. Okay. Okay. Turn this way. Get her turned around here. Get that menu out of my face. All right. Okay. And you'll have to excuse my mic if it's not very good this episode. I'm 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 working on uh working on getting it improved. Do I have this on the right side? Yeah, we got it on the right side. There we go. Okay. Maybe they don't need any so you know what they do they need I didn't even check if they needed straw. Let's see, oh yeah, it's in the season's menu, that's why I'm... Alright, we got 15 head in here. Oh, they're perfectly fine on straw, look at that. They did not use that up one bit. Okay. Well, good for you guys. Make sure, let's go down here. Make sure we're good on this end. We're good, yeah. All right. Well, that that saves me some worries because I was really worried we weren't gonna have enough and we were gonna run out. So that makes me happy. So I think we're gonna we're gonna switch switch where the straw blower is and switch where the uh, the rake is located. Keep the straw blower in here. I think it. Uh, I think this is kind of where it belongs. see here. It's really kind of a, a, an organizational issue here. Organizational dilemma, really. Deciding which, uh, 
I want to organize this, but this, this at least I can like just pull this out when I'm ready. Leave that right there. Pull forward a little bit. There we go. Alright, get that shut off. Skid loader, I'm using that all the time. That's why I didn't want to box that in there. Using the skid loader constantly. So let's get that out of the way. And then we got to move the rake. Where am I going to put this fork? Now why don't we just move the skid loader right here? Move the skid loader right there. <coughs> and, uh, and we'll shut it off for, the, for now. Start that up. Let's get this... Uh, Oh, we gotta attach the hoses, yep, okay. I'm going this way. Just gotta think about what I'm doing here. Okay, get the get the ver the rake lined up here. I think we got I think that's just about perfect. There we go. See it swivels on that one. The other tractor wasn't swiveling. Too slow. A little too slow for my liking. Let's see, where is a good spot for this rake? That's kind of out of the way. I feel like back here with the uh, the baler, but is it going to fit through there? Oops! Cows are jumping over each other. Looks like they got quite the manure pile pile going there. Go to the above view here. See how close I'm in. There we go. Okay. Get it tucked back in there. It's always tough to tell if I'm going to clear that truck or not. I'll pull forward a little bit. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. It's nice. And organized. Okay. Well, let's make sure our cows got water. They're good on water. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm using accidentally using happy cow. The happy cow on. Maybe that's why they're they're so full. I'm about to turn that off. Cause I filled them up yesterday, but uh. We switched days, because I, I, I was actually playing on this map for like an hour beforehand. So we'll just, uh, just pretend that the, uh, the helper, the helper stopped by this morning to get everyone fed. Oop, there we go. And we, uh, we at least got the, uh, the blower all filled up for tomorrow morning, and we got the, uh, the mixers all filled. So that's good. Okay, so... It is damn near harvest time. So pretty much every episode we're going to be, for, for the next, I don't know, probably six episodes, we're going to be harvesting and doing chores. As we should. Pull that out. Get this organized. I, gotta I, gotta, I really got to cut that habit of running, don't I? Okay, let's open that up. Get this baby started. We're gonna be doing soybeans first, I believe, so that's way up the road. That is not gonna be fun. And I think we'll use the uh, we'll use the 9310. Let's pick this up. 9310 to pull those DMI wagons up. And we'll uh, have someone follow me in the pickup. And uh, I gotta attach that PTO. Let me attach it. There we go. Have someone follow me up in the picket, pick up, up to that field. Let's see how far away is. Oh no no no! It's right here. Never mind. Sorry, that's corn. Okay, we'll do the, the closest one is soybeans. I thought the far one was soybeans. Okay, that's fine. That's actually better. 
park the combine back here. And get it out of the way real quick. Okay. Oh, it's 1310 already? Oh, well, we did waste a little bit of time. That's all right. Did some maintenance on the uh, 9310. That's why she's uh, sitting here in the shop. Not the most optimal time to be doing maintenance on your tractor right before harvest. facing the way I want them to. I think I should back up into them, maybe. Okay. Oh. All right, backing up. You guys have to tell me if this makes you kind of disoriented or dizzy doing switching back and forth between out of cab and in cab. I could certainly do one or the other, it doesn't really matter. I like in cab though. A little too far, not bad. All right, let's pull these out. Slip around the corner here. this forward. <coughs> Combine's got to go first. Let's see here. How far away is that? Feel? Okay. I'm going to get you out of the way. So we'll have, uh, we'll have the uh, 9310 running on the uh, grain carts for a little while and then once we get to the point where we can start doing a little tillage. But, ah, keep sprinting. I, I swear I keep sprinting. <laughs> Once we uh, once we open up the field and everything and get the field cleared off and start doing corn, we'll uh, we'll switch this over to tillage, and then we'll do uh, single single grain carts on <coughs> the smaller tractors. Okay. <coughs> Actually, let's let's drive it down to the field here. Let's go ahead and drive it down. Where is the field entrance again? It should be right here. Okay. Now here's our soybeans. I'm gonna turn off the road here. Not quite into the ditch. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to load up. Oh, no sprinting. up the field and everything. Luckily it's close enough, doesn't really matter that much, but all right. Okay, and uh let's turn that off real quick. Yeah yeah. There we go that turned off walk back to the combine here then we'll uh, we'll get the combine started up we'll open up a little path and I think we'll end the video there oh my gosh it's such a it's such a long haul maybe it's because I have my, my run speed just too high maybe that's the problem you know I have it like super run speed instead of just like normal run speed Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try to keep the videos under 30 minutes. I know this one ran a little long, but, you know, we had a lot going on. Can I fit through there? Oh, man. Am I going to fit? This, this, I know this header's a little big. Oh, we, we're fine. Look at that. Okay. Okay. 
accelerated there. Didn't anticipate that. Okay, there we go. That's a good speed. Let's get this unfolded. video and we'll pick right off in the next video right right here thank you guys for watching and please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel like comment if you hated the video comment like that's totally fine dislike if you don't like it you know but uh thank you for watching i really appreciate it i'm trying to grow my channel and everything and i'm really gonna i really think i'm gonna enjoy this series and i hope you do too all right i'll see you until next time Bye bye